Hello everyone, this is Tyler with Legendary Vegan Gaming, and today I want to talk about Mutation Synergy in Nuclear Throne. Nuclear Throne is a hard game, and choosing the right mutations can make or break a run. As tempting as it may be to pick the single most appealing mutation each time you level up, you'll be much better served by planning ahead for mutations that work well together, creating synergy. I like to group mutations into several categories based on their effects. Note that these are categories of my own and are in no way official. Also, this video is for general mutation strategy. Character-specific mutation synergy will be covered in another video. The first three categories concern ammunition and hit points. First is the ammo category. Back muscle lets you hold more ammunition while lucky shot, and recycle gland give you a chance to regenerate ammunition when killing or hitting enemies, respectively. Stocking up on these mutations let you go for high strength, high ammo consumption weapons early on without worrying about running out of juice. Next are the healing mutations. Bloodlust gives a chance that you'll be healed when killing enemies. Second Stomach doubles the effectiveness of health pickups. Both are very good choices for beginners, as it helps you live a little longer. Open Mind lets you find another chest per stage, and Rabbit Paw makes enemies drop more ammo and health pickups. These item drop mutations synergize well with both the ammo and health mutation categories, making it less likely that you'll run out of either resource. Before going on to the next categories, it's worth noting that even if you don't focus on the ammo or item drop mutation categories, it's advisable to take at least one mutation from them before getting too far into the game. The stronger weapons found later in the game take proportionately more ammunition, so having some way to regenerate, find more, or hold more ammo is practically mandatory for most mutants. There are four mutations that I group into the defensive category, though they are all very different. Boiling Veins protects you from all fire and explosion damage when you're at four or fewer hit points. Euphoria makes enemy bullets move slower. Strong Spirit prevents you from dying upon taking a hit that would otherwise kill your mutant, giving you 5 frames of invincibility after activating. The effect can be recharged by healing to your max HP. Rhino Skin ups your max HP by 4, giving most mutants a total of 12 hit points. These two synergize extremely well with the healing mutations. The Contact Damage mutations, Gamma Guts, and Sharp Teeth also pair well with the healing mutations, as well as with Rhino Skin. Gamma Guts deals damage to enemies that run into you. Sharp Teeth deals damage to all enemies on screen whenever you lose health. There are four mutations that improve the function of specific weapon categories. Bolt Marrow makes bolts home in on enemies, even being able to dart between several targets in a crowd. Laser Brain doubles the size and power of energy weapon shots. Long Arms gives melee weapons extra reach. Shotgun Shoulders makes pellets bounce for longer. Note that while all weapons that shoot shotgun shells fire pellets affected by shotgun shoulders, so do the pellets fired by pop weapons and flak cannon explosions. These don't particularly synergize well with other categories, but synergize well with each other, so that when it becomes necessary to switch weapons, you can switch to another powered up category. The next two sets of offensive mutations are generally good to have, but don't have much in the way of mutation synergy. Impact Wrists sends enemy corpses sliding much farther, dealing damage to whatever they hit. Scarier Face lowers enemy max HP. Stress gives you a boost to your rate of fire when your health is low, and Trigger Finger decreases reload time on kills. The effect stacks if the same weapon scores multiple kills on a single shot. This works especially well with strong weapons with high reload times like sledgehammers, shovels, and heavy crossbows. The remaining mutations have varied effects largely concerning your base abilities. Eagle Eyes improves your accuracy. One notable benefit to this is making the SMG a viable and very powerful gun early in the game. Extra Feet improves your movement speed, and prevents environmental hazards from slowing you down. This can be considered another defensive mutation, and players may like to take this before arriving at the Crystal Caves or Ice Stages. Plutonium Hunger increases your red auto-collect range. Patience lets you delay your choice of mutation until the next portal, giving you a new set of mutations to choose from. Last Wish heals you completely and gives you some ammunition. I didn't group this with the healing or ammo categories, because it has certain character-specific and stage-specific benefits, both of which are beyond the scope of this video. Hammerhead lets you break through a limited number of walls. You can use this defensively by ducking into a bolt hole, or offensively by plowing through a wall to take a group of enemies from an advantageous position. The last mutation is potentially the most powerful, Throne Butt. Its effect is different for each mutant, generally improving your active ability. They can also greatly affect your need for certain mutations and synergies. Character-specific mutations are exactly what I'll cover in my next video, so keep an eye out for that next week, and until then, keep it vegan. Bye guys.